we're back to using Teradata syntax, and this time it's going to be a moving sum, an M sum, but it's going to have three parameters in it. We're going to say we want to do an M sum on daily sales, and that's what we'll calculate. We're going to do it every three rows. That's called the moving window. And of course, we're going to have our sort key. In this case, first sort by product ID and then by sale date. And now we're going to do a moving sum every three rows. And I'll explain next how that data is going to come out. Now we're doing a moving sum on the daily sales every three rows after we first sort by product ID and sale date. So once the data is sorted, they're ready to do the moving sum, but it's going to be calculated every three rows. Stay with me. Let's take a look at the answer set and row three in red has got $139,350.69. How was that calculated? Well, since the moving window is three, it's going to take the current row of 36,000 plus 54, 5, plus 48, and that's how they did this calculation every three rows. Let's take a look at the next one. Fourth row, in blue, 130,772 cents. How was that calculated? Not with the previous four, but with the current row of 4,200, 36,054. You see, each one of the moving sums We'll calculate the current row and the previous two, and that's the three row moving sum. It's done for trending. After we get through the first two rows, which row one only calculates the moving sum for row one, and then two does it for row one and two, but once you get to row three, it's always the current row and the previous two. Next one's current row, previous two. So you can spot, hey, when did we do really good in a three row period? And when did we do really bad? And that's the idea of trending using the moving sum. Something about SQL is people just assume it's all done in one pass. Ordered analytics are never done in one pass. We sort the data first and then we calculate. As you can see here that I've colored for you, we are going to sort by product ID and then sale date and then we're ready for calculating the moving sum. Since this is a Teradata syntax ordered analytic M sum, we can use the group by product ID. What's it going to do? It's going to reset the calculations and start again when we move from product ID 1000 to 2,000, and that's the idea of the group by. Let's see that group by in action in slow motion. Take a look at the answer set. We've got a group by product ID, so as soon as there's a 1,000 to 2,000 product ID break, we immediately say start again. What do we make day one with product ID 2,000, 41888? That's going to be the new moving sum on row one for product ID 2000. What did we do on row two? We made 48,000. Continue to add that up till you get to the third row. And then once again, we're calculating current row and the previous two all the way down till we get to product ID 3000. Then it resets again. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need a query tool that makes joins easy? The Nexus has a join builder that turns the most complex joins into child's play. The Nexus Query Chameleon, making connections easy again. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.